In this video, we will demonstrate the optimal techniques for endoscopic mucosal resection of a large, granular, lateral spreading tumor with dominant sessile nodules. Most granular lateral spreading tumors have a low risk of invasive carcinoma, and because of this they can be resected in multiple pieces with low risk and high efficiency. However, when one identifies a granular lateral spreading polyp with a dominant sessile nodule, Paris classification 2A1S type, these have an increased risk of cancer under the nodule. And in these cases, the nodule should be resected on block and submitted for separate histology to evaluate for deep and lateral margins. In this video, we combine the piecemeal resection of a 2A granular portion, then isolation and on block resection of the large dominant nodule. This achieves both the efficiency of piecemeal resection as well as the safety and security of on block resection of the part of the lesion which is most likely to harbor invasive carcinoma. We begin with careful characterization of the lesion. Here we find a lesion approximately 8 centimeters in size in the ascending colon. Most of the lesion is a granular lateral spreading polyp. Using narrowband imaging and near focused imaging, we can see that there are irregular crypts and surface architecture, although no findings here suggest an invasive carcinoma. On the other hand, there are two large dominant nodules in the center of the lesion. To safely and effectively remove such a lesion, we begin with piecemeal resection of the granular portion of the large lateral spreading tumor or polyp. We inject a viscous solution containing methylene blue, hydroxypropylmethyl cellulose, as well as saline and epinephrine. We begin at the lateral edges on the nearest side of the lesion. With the injection, the polypoid component clearly lifts up off the deeper layers and separates the mucosal lesion from the muscle layer. We then use a stiff gauge wire snare to entrap the first piece. As with all EMR techniques, we push the snare firmly into the wall of the fluid cushion and then close the snare tightly using an endocut mode to resect the lesion. Once the resection plane is established, we place the snare in progressively adjacent lesions, ensuring that the wire of the snare entraps the adjacent line of resection to avoid leaving gaps. Now the dominant nodule has been isolated in the upper left corner. It is lifted and ensnared on block and resected in one single piece, which will be later submitted for detailed histology. The second dominant nodule is again exposed. This is again lifted and resected in a separate on block procedure. Notice the snare wire placement to grab all adjacent uh, neoplastic tissue, here pushing firmly into the wall, suctioning air out of the lumen, and closing the snare tightly. Once the snare is closed, we can reinflate and ensure that we have all of the visible dominant nodule tissue. The resection is continued to remove all of the remaining granular portions until all visible neoplastic tissue is resected. Recent studies have also suggested that prophylactic coagulation of the margin using snare tipped with soft coagulation current further reduces the risk of recurrence. Here the technique of snare tip soft coagulation of the margins is demonstrated. The snare tip is slightly exposed, 2 to 3 millimeters, and we circumferentially ablate the entire perimeter of the lesion. Our team at the Mayo Clinic in Florida consists of multiple experts in advanced endoscopic imaging and endoscopic resection of large colon polyps. For patients or physicians who wish to refer such cases to the Mayo Clinic in Florida, our contact information is shown here. Thank you.